go ahead and start broadcasting now. I think the easiest and maybe best thing to do is pull up some examples um, from the last few semesters just to show you what other people have turned in so that in a minute when I show you guys the actual project requirements you will have already seen what other people turn in so I'm doing it a little bit backwards this year um, but we are actually working on an existing project site let me find where it is so this is an actual house that is on 120 West and Mead Avenue. So does anybody know where public coffee roasters are in Salt Lake? Okay, if you don't, it's okay, but a lot of people know where public coffee is. So public coffee is right here. This is West Temple. 900 South is just right here. Yeah, so this is the I-80 West. What was that? Yeah, so we're close to, so it's right in between 9th and 13th South, but um, this is an existing house, and as you can see, it's on a huge lot, and this was a house that I actually used to own, and I really wanted to fix it up and have a house downtown, but to be completely honest, gentrification was not happening fast enough for me, so... Um, we sold the house. We know who the owners are, so it's fun to kind of keep tabs. Nothing has been done to the house since we owned it, but still, I'm kind of excited to see, you know, what the future holds for it, because it is really a cute little house. Um, so for the final project, sorry, I just can't get a good view of this. I'm trying to pivot. Nope, I'm just going to leave it here. Um, so for your final project, to be completely honest, it's a really open, but there are a couple different requirements so that for some people, if it being too open is too open for you, then I can like rein you in a little bit. But I want you to treat this like it's a real project and there's a few clients to choose from. So one of the clients, they are a family. They've purchased the home and they want to do an addition onto it. And there's some programmatic needs that you'll have to fulfill and they want to keep the traditional look of the home. That's the first client. And all of this is spelled out. I'll pull up all of the sheets where everything is. I just want you to have this in mind. So when I show you the examples, you know where people came from. Um, another client also wants to keep the existing home, but do another an addition, do another addition of a commercial space, a commercial space of your choice. And they don't care if you keep the historic integrity of the house or not. And then the third client is, you know, I, I would love for all of you guys to at least drive down to the site and check it out, get the vibe of the neighborhood, where it is, where it's going. Um, I will say not to sound like a paranoid old lady, that this neighborhood at night can get a little bit sketchy. The people who own the house are wonderful, but the people who live there, um, he's a really nice guy. They're a really nice family, but there's just some run-ins with some druggies in the neighborhood. It's not the homeless people who are scary, it's the people who are on drugs that are scary. So just be careful. So if you're going, summertime's a great time because the sun doesn't go down until much later. But just make sure you go with someone. And if you're uncomfortable, just do a drive-by in your car and then go get a treat at public coffee after and do some sketches while you're there. So this is the site that we'll be working on. And if you look on our class page, even though nothing has been officially published, um, you will be able to see um, the outline right here. So these are the documents that I'll be going over in just a minute. But site information, existing plan information, the different clients are here as well. Um, and then the sheets that will be due. And our new schedule is tacked on to the bottom of this. Okay, so that'll be a, an important document for you. The only thing that I don't have here right now is the new grading sheet. I like to give everybody, um, I like everybody to look at the rubric or the grading sheet because to be completely honest, when you get to the final, if you start to get overwhelmed, I want you to see how much everything is worth. So if you want to like walk away from something worth five points and focus on the thing that's worth 20 points, I think rubrics are very helpful in that. So that's coming. I just have to update a few things for this semester. But um, so with that, I want to go ahead and show you guys a few projects. 
Now, I just went through and downloaded random projects. These don't necessarily mean that they're the best projects, they're not the worst projects, they're all over the board. This person obviously did a really big addition onto the house. I think this is a family home. So the existing house is right here, something like that. And they added on all of this stuff over here. Um, we will be going over how to do existing plans and demolition plans. It's one of our first labs where we set up the model together. And you can see their floor plan as well as the garages that they added. We've got a second level as well up here. They did a dimension plan. That's what we talked about last week, more dimensioning. For the final project, I'm only requiring two elevations. If you look at the house, the west elevation is essentially right next door to the neighbor, so you can't really see it. And then the other one backs up to the freeway. So I really only need you to focus on the two main street elevations. We've got some pages of elevations, more elevations, even more elevations, some enlarged plans, schedules. So everything up until this point should have looked familiar. Schedules, they're not familiar, but we will have a lab day for those as well. And then we've got some renderings. Again, they're on the schedule, it's on the schedule now. There's one example for you. I'll go through a couple more of these. So this is another residential example. And I hope you don't mind, I'm just quickly going through these. I just want you to see things that are hopefully familiar to you. There's, There really shouldn't be any big surprises on the final with you know the couple of exceptions um, just because at this point we're really reviewing everything we're putting it into a final project I feel like all of the examples I selected ended up being oh no this is a commercial one too this is commercial, so they have like a break area and a work area. Oh no, this is a house. It was residential on top, commercial on bottom. Really similar to what you guys did for Jerry's commercial project. No renderings on that one. What's this one? Another house. Okay, I'll go through this one as well. The dimension sheets get crazy, as you guys can see, so we do them separately. one included the rendering of the kitchen. Right. And I think I might have one more example. Let's see. I think this is a commercial example. Yeah, this is like an artist studio space. So this is a commercial example. Schedules, some dark renderings. <laughs> okay. Hopefully nothing too surprising, right? Pretty familiar with what you've seen. So again, with the exception of doing the kitchen rendering, um, the schedules, I think that's it. I think everything else we've already covered. And we do have lab days for those. So if you take a look this is the document that I have uploaded on our site right now so let me just go down I wanted to be at the schedule anyway one of the last things that we do 
is we do a schedule lab together. So at that point, I just hope that you have almost everything done so it's easy to pull a window indoor schedule. I don't want to do a window indoor schedule before you even have windows indoors. So that's why it's one of the last things that we do. Um, but if you take a look, as soon as we get back on Tuesday, we will be working on layouts to review with your peers and kind of redline in class. And so if you know that the week of the fourth is gonna be crazy for you and you wanna spend some time this weekend to start it, please do. I have everything online for you to start. Um, and then just note that a week after Thursday, so essentially two weeks from today, I want your floor plans to be at about 90%. So the floor plan should come together pretty quickly. Now that's, you know, there could be some exceptions um, in terms of like space planning and things like that. You might not have all of the furniture and things like that picked out, but as far as like walls, windows, doors, that kind of stuff, that stuff should be 90% in place. So it's just ready for the fillers to go in. Okay. Um, and then here, I just have a list of like when I think the sheets should be done. So for example, the 16th, is a big week july 16th so here this will be the week that we're working on renderings um, i'm asking that you guys have a draft of your kitchen layout it should be complete prior to class start so that doesn't mean that you have like a finished plan in revit that just means that you know what you want to build in revit for your kitchen right even if you sketch it out using draft mode so for this lab right here I will be spending some time going through the BIM object site where I'll show you guys how to download all of the different kitchen BIM objects, how to read through their catalog so you know which ones are available to download. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys how to apply the materials and the finishes that are available on those cabinets. And that'll continue on um, the 18th. So for this day, we right now we're scheduled not to have class and so this might be just in the form of an online lecture so if you guys see here the 3d print lab you guys may just be reviewing the extrusion lecture that i posted earlier this semester so some of you guys have already seen that i'm hoping that we'll have time for the a quick extrusion lecture on this day as well because um, on the 16th It'll take too long for me to show you guys how to do your entire kitchen, but I can show you how to insert one or two pieces and how to put the material on one or two pieces because it'll be the same for all the pieces. And then once we get those pieces in, typically what I do like I did in my extrusion lecture, um, Felicia, well, you went through it, right? The extrusion. I go through and I teach you guys how to do like a table, just some really basic modeling categories you guys can do. Um, and then again, I just have the 500s here, the 600s here, and with our labs, you can see here on the 11th, I'll do roof and stair reviews. If we need to pull them up other days, we will too. So really the big days are going to be the 16th and the 23rd. So our schedule lab as well as the kitchen rendering lab. The other days are really days for you to work. Um, so sorry, Tuesdays will be our big days. Um, and then on the, the first Tuesday, um, sorry, the second, when we come back next week, I'm gonna go through, we're all getting, going to essentially be putting it into Revit together. So until Tuesday, you don't have to do anything in Revit with it. If you want to get started, the only thing that I would have you do is to, um, let me pull up the plan, it's on the website. If you wanted to see what the layout looks like, and I know you're struggling. Here we go. So on the files, this is a, um, a PDF document that shows the whole site. Uh, so right now this is at 16th of an inch, and I believe it fits on an 11 by 17. You can print this off and start sketching on it. If you know how to use AutoCAD, you'll notice that I have the CAD plan in here too of that exact same PDF. So if that's something that you wanted to start sketching, you could do that as well. Okay. 
So I won't, um, I won't really go through too much more. Just know that everything is here if you want to take a look at it. And please just keep in mind, Client X really opens up the final project to whatever you want to do with it. Okay, I've given you guys a couple options, but um, I miss the days of school when I could do whatever I wanted, where there was like no budget, no real client. And so I want to extend that to you guys. And not just that, I think that if you are designing about something you're passionate about that you care for, I think it makes the designing a lot easier. Like if I were to say, do a Playmobil shop. Um, I am oddly obsessed with Playmobil toys, and I don't think maybe you guys don't even know what those are. <laughs> so you guys aren't too passionate about that, but if you like love yoga or succulents and you do a workshop based around that, I think the details come to you a lot easier because you already know what you'd want in a space like that. It's not something that you'd need to like research and figure out, but you kind of already know what you'd like to make of it. Okay, so be thinking about that because in Tuesday, like I said, we're going to have a lab where one, we set up this the initial file together, the initial base plan of the house. We learn how to do some phasing with it. And then after that, um, we will have some time just for you guys to kind of like sketch out your ideas, start space planning because this plan, this is really the part of it that takes the most amount of time, just kind of trying to get those ideas down and nailed down so you can hurry and get all the other sheets done. Okay. Um, while I'm sitting here, would anybody, I, I don't, this is no pressure, if you don't want it tonight, I'm not going to print one for you tonight, but would anybody want me to print, I'm gonna say an eighth inch plan to take home and sketch on? Do you want me to just print them out so they're here? Okay, I'm seeing a couple nods. I'll go ahead and print them out, whether you use them or not over the weekend is fine. I just want you guys to have it. Um, and then I can just send them to the large format printer. Okay. I don't expect you guys to have a ton of questions yet because we just went over a lot. There's a lot on your mind. But if there's something in general that you want to ask, please do. But just know that we will be going over this um, together as well here in just a bit. Okay. Anything pop up? No? Okay. I will post this online so you guys can go through it later. Yeah, yeah Jules. So would you scan Yeah. Yep, so everybody starts with that same existing plan that we see here, but everybody demos it differently. So you could keep most of it except for a wall or you could keep almost none of it. So we all start with the same house, but it's up to you to decide what you want to keep or not keep. Yeah, you could do that too. Mm -hmm. That could be an option. All right.